Well, uh, you are saying he made a U-turn. You are not saying he's a flip-flop. But if it was me who had said that, uh, because I'm not your favorite, you would have called me names. And the good thing, Betty said that not so long ago, that he will not campaign for the ANC. And today he says he's going to campaign for the ANC. What has changed in policy, in form and content in the ANC? The ANC is in a much more worse situation than when he said he will not campaign for that kind uh, of the ANC. So it was not a principal stance. It was a factional position. What Zuma is doing is not for the first time it's being done. President Mbeki was right behind COPE. And he's not going to characterize Zuma's support for MK as counter-revolution and as if his support to COPE was revolutionary. Mbalula himself called Mbeki Dalai Lama of COPE, if you remember. And uh, everybody who worked with Mbeki, from Pumzile to Smart Ngonyama uh, to uh, Mbazima Shilowa and all kinds went to join COPE. They were not going to do that without President Mbeki's blessings. And when these people went to join COPE, what did President Mbeki do in defense of the ANC? He silently kept quiet, kept a corner because he knew what he was doing. So we have a problem of these elders in the ANC who retire and still don't want to retire. So that's a big problem. President Mbeki should have found himself a farm in Gushua and go and stay there and then only travel the continent and the world as a special envoy or as someone who's going to give a lecture in some of the big universities like he was doing at UNISA. But to stay in Kilani and then wake up every morning to see the headlines, there is no way there won't be a temptation to want to comment on current affairs. President Mbeki is inviting himself back into the political battlefield and that's where we are. We're going to have to respond to him and uh, we'll respond to him in a manner that is befitting of a response of a player because he has refused now to become an elder. Because President Mbeki as a statesman, as an elder, though coming from the ANC, he shouldn't be interfering with day-to-day -day politics of South Africa in an attempt to lead from the grave. So that we don't agree with, but we are ready for him. Let him campaign for the ANC, we will campaign for the EFF, and we'll meet on the streets. Are unmatched. Um, there is only EFF that got suspended in that parliament that got kicked out of that parliament because it does its work. Uh, and I'm the only president who get beaten by civilians called the bouncers of parliament because I do my work. So no one can tell me that I'm not doing work. Uh, to be suspended in parliament of the corrupt is actually an honor. We wait with pride uh, because we will not be uh, intimidated uh, into silence by the corrupt and the leadership that is refusing to be held accountable because we want to get salaries. They can take their salaries, they can suspend us and as much as they want, will never move from the truth. The court said, when we entered parliament, if you remember, as a person who writes for Mel and Gadi, you have to make a point of reference. Go to the parliament files, we said, the ANC is a murderous organization it kills people, and then they suspended us for that. We went to court. Court reversed it, said, in Parliament, we've got the right to say what they say. It was well within the right of members of Parliament to say the President is a money launderer, because it's exactly that. And uh, why is he a money launderer? Monies were found in foreign currency under matrices. And if there is no practical definition of money laundering, other than that, then I don't know what else is there. We will not allow the ANC to suppress the freedom of expression for members of parliament and to tell the truth. And what is exciting about this election is that the ANC won't have majority to continue doing the nonsense they are doing, of using majority to prevent accountability. No, the Nigerians uh, honor each other when they are still alive and um, that uh, there are levels of cooperation 
uh, is something unmatched. I mean, you find all former president um, and, and current and all of that under one roof. Uh, despite the fact that the political differences, the levels of tolerance for each other uh, was something else. But I also attended the night of prayers for uh, our brother Herbert, who was a founder and was a CEO of Access Bank. Uh, I was going to pay uh, my respect to him, and I was so happy that uh, I found a lot of uh, rich Africans in attendance coming to honor uh, one of their own. And uh, that kind of uh, a respect shown to heaven was so humble. And uh, the kind of uh, commitment they made to his children and the family, and for the colleagues to say they will keep his dream alive. Uh, it was so exciting uh, to hear that. And uh, we were well received by the people of uh, Nigeria, and uh, uh, we felt at home. And I ate jollof. <laughs> the EFF's list? Whether the EFF wants to issue its list or not, the list by law is going to be issued by the IEC. So uh, when people are trying to be relevant through things that are are unnecessary, it's really not necessary for us. The list is with the IEC, and we did our own internal process to verify the credentials, criminal records of all the individuals there, and then when we satisfied ourselves, we then send it to the IEC. The IEC is still going through it. Once it's ready, they're going to publish it. Uh, and by the way, it's only the EFF serious organizations list which was never leaked, because even the IEC knows you can't play with this organization. <laughs> Thank you. And the leadership of the EFF and the staff members and all the volunteers of uh, the EFF, I want to take this opportunity to thank all of you for having volunteered to come and serve the People's Movement. What you have done goes beyond a call of duty for individual membership. You are not just members, but you are volunteers who have dedicated their time to come and ensure that the operation center of the organization is functioning. And we capture as much data as possible. We are just starting. There will be glitches there and there. And we are all learning the system as we go, we hope that we have sufficient time to can amass the necessary experience within a short space of time, because what you are dealing with now is the membership of the EFF. From the membership of the EFF, you're going to deal with voters, and that data is going to come from the lower structures of the EFF. You're going to have to populate it, reduce it to the sub-regions and to their relevant wards so that your report can generate the necessary information from VT level, what level, province, and we all know that it will be a reflection of how South Africa looks like. So we expect your maximum discipline. You know, people when they volunteer, they sometimes have a tendency of saying, ah, they don't need to pay me anything, I can do as I wish. It's a voluntary thing. You don't bring in minerals. you don't volunteer in minerals. Uh, you volunteer only the good side. And you give your good side and give it to your all. Because the victory of the EFF will be a victory that was made possible by your good selves and your names will go in history as people who brought about practical changes in South Africa. This, as we said, is our 1994, and you are the volunteers of 1994 of a new generation which wants to see the real change happen. We have had a discussion with the SG, and we have agreed that we must make this place as conducive as possible for all of you. You shouldn't go through a hassle, there shouldn't be the difficulty. Yours must be to be 
seized with uh, the capturing and calling of people and nothing else. The rest of other logistical issues and how people get compensated and all of that should remain the forte of the SG. He must be the one who's got the headache of those kind of things. So please let's ensure that we just stick to our computers, we stick to our task and we don't create unnecessary groupings and uh, uh, galavanting and a lot of chit chat which delays uh, the necessary job. So we are humbly requesting that uh, this thing is going to be done by the 30th of May. Uh, if we go beyond it will be by a day will be done and uh, will now be seized with new responsibilities as different individuals. So it's not something that you must think it's a punishment for the rest of your life. It's something that you know in a short space of time it will be done. And because it will be done in a short space of time, it means we must give it a maximum attention and give it all because time is not on our side. We are pleading, please treat each other with respect. And uh, once you treat each other with respect and collegiality, then you know that the environment will be conducive. The environment must not be toxic because where you find a lot of people, there's always this toxic uh, tendencies. It shouldn't be uh, toxic and there should not be issues of sexual harassment. Um, and sexual harassment is not determined by males, it's determined by females. If she says she doesn't like the way you look at her, you change the way you look at her. If she says, don't touch me, that's the end of the story. And uh, we don't want to be hearing stories that they were uncomfortable situations, especially for female volunteers. Uh, let's make the necessary sanitation available SG uh, for volunteers in case they come to experience unexpected things uh, out of the natural call they must still feel accommodated and find the place friendly for females uh, because it is always like that. Most of the volunteers are going to be females and they must not find this place not to be unfriendly. Um, so we, 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 we should have a weekly bride where the, you choose a day and on Sunday or Saturday, preferably Sunday, where you finish, you choose a spot to go and buy meat, have drinks in an informal arrangement, because it's not prison. It can sound like prison when we're like this. So it must feel so exciting and socially, uh, you know, receptive, such that you look forward to Sunday and you know for Sunday to come, you have to do this work that you have to do so that you can enjoy yourselves on Sunday. I want you to be happy. I want you to enjoy this place. I want you not to feel like you are slaves. I want you to do this because you love doing this and it comes from right inside your stomach. If it comes from your face, it means you are a pleaser. You are trying to please someone. But if it comes from your stomach, it bends from inside the belly. That's you. That's you saying, what can I do to make the victory of the EFF possible? I'm not a speaker, I can't go put posters, but there is something I can do. And they say there is a, a, a operation center of the EFF, you're like, yes, this is exactly what I can do as a contribution towards the success of the revolution. We really appreciate this work and we don't take it for granted and we'll do everything in our power to show you how much we appreciate you volunteering to come and serve the revolution. Good luck. Thank you very much.